and I'm back. All right, Dark Siders, so I just got done seeing Suicide Squad 2. First thing I wanna share with you is to make sure that you stay to the end of the credits because there is an end credit scene. And also, of course, that there will be no spoilers here. So man, look, everybody was raving about this movie. I mean, everybody was talking about it. The reviews for it are fantastic. And maybe if you saw it, you are hyped about this film as well. But I will have to tell you, man, that for me, this movie was average at best. I don't know, Dark Siders. Somebody tell me why this movie is as good as what they are saying. Yeah, it's a wild ride. Yeah, it does do a good job of giving us something new from the DCEU, but this is not that great of a movie. Give me three points. Give me three bullet points in the comments about what makes this movie great because I don't understand it. It's not a bad movie, but it's not a great movie. Couple of problems I had with it. Number one, I had a problem with the pacing of this. This thing drags outside of the opening sequence and what we get in the third act. All that stuff in the middle, all the story build in the second act to me is paced very badly and it's boring to me. It is boring. It is too dialogue driven. And I know that I always talk about the power of a good story, but listen, I wanted to see more fight sequences throughout this movie, but I feel like we get robbed of that outside of what we see in the opening sequence and what we get in the third act. And I was really disappointed with that. I also didn't really like some of the cinematic choices that Gunn made in executing this story. I thought that they were a bit too playful. I'm not gonna mention what that is, but let's see if you can guess what it is in the comments below, because they use some cinematic aspects of this to tell this story that I thought that didn't really fit well within this movie, even though it does fit well with the tone of the Suicide Squad. So I didn't think that that was well executed. And I was just overall disappointed with the level of action in this. Now, when you get to that third act, the third act, when it starts, it's jumping and it pretty much doesn't let up until the end of the film. The third act is cinematically dynamic. It's interesting. It's raw. It's visceral. It's violent. It has good comedic relief in that. It has some unexpected twists in it. In my opinion, they're unexpected twists. You may have seen some of it coming. So the third act of this film was great. And I wish that we had gotten more of that type of storytelling in acts one and two. But everything kind of rides on the last part of this movie to make it epic. And I didn't like that, especially when I think about how Gunn was able to tell a much more engaged and interesting story throughout in Guardians of the Galaxy. So I know that it can be done, but he doesn't do that well here. And it's really fascinating because he talks about this being one of the most fun movies he has made. So I'm not sure what all the hype is about, honestly, but I will say that I do think that you will enjoy it. I do think that this is something for the big screen if you like James Gunn. I think that this is a movie that you will enjoy. But is this movie great? by any stretch of the imagination, no. Is this the best movie in the DCEU? No, it is not. But I'm curious to know what you think about it, Dark Siders. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here to Dark Side Reviews. Thank you guys so much. Listen, I look forward to your comments. I really look forward to knowing what you think about this. I'll see you in the comments. All right, everybody. Love you guys. Peace.